Hi guys, I just installed my new CCW throttle body for the 2006 to 2009 model S2000 and I wanted to show you my experience with the car. Uh, it's a bolt-in throttle body. It basically sits in the exact same factory position as the original throttle body, just this inner diameter and sizing is bigger. Uh, the original factory uh, throttle body is about 65 millimeter outlet while this one has a 69 millimeter outlet. Okay. This one is about 60, 68 millimeters in the inlet, where this one, the CCW brand one, is 70 millimeters. And then on the back side of the throttle body, we have it's about a 65 millimeter outlet. So if you round up, it's about 65 millimeters. And then this one is substantially bigger, it's about 69 and a half millimeters okay and then on the front side you can see both throttle bodies are pretty identical the bigger bore size is on the CCW brand and the throttle plate looks bigger the throttle plate looks bigger on this one than it does on the factory one and then we're gonna go to install disconnect the breather hose and then put that out of the way disconnect our map sensor disconnect the throttle body then I'm going to use these clamps to stop coolant from going on that side and on the back of the intake side right here. So I can undo the coolant lines and not a lot of coolant will come out. So let's start with this one. And pull the hose out. And we got this one. And a 12 millimeter socket. We'll unbolt these four bolts. You have two nuts and two bolts. And then you're going to pull on it a little bit and pull out the throttle body. This gasket's probably not going to be reusable. It's kind of stuck to this throttle body. So we have a brand new gasket that we're going to use from Honda for the new throttle body. I'm going to transfer my coolant lines first. To the new throttle body. Just transfer directly from one to another. Second one. To here. Okay. Now we're gonna grab our grab our new gasket. I'm gonna check the position of the way this gasket was. I got the blue side on facing the intake manifold. So I'm gonna put it on like this and then slide this on to the intake manifold. I'm gonna hand thread my nuts here and bolts. My electric impact. And then I'm going to use the torque wrench. For the Honda manual, we set it to 16 foot pounds of torque. Perfect. Alrighty. 
Now we're just going to reconnect all our hoses. So I'm going to the top right here. And this one going to the bottom one, like so. Reconnect our map sensor and the throttle body. We can clip this wiring harness right here into the bracket. And put our intake line back on. Right there. Tighten up our clamp. Take off our cl clamps on the on the hoses right here and on the back of the intake manifold, and we're done. Time to fire it up. Now we're gonna fire up our car here after we install the new throttle one. We'll check the coolant hoses for any leaks. The electric throttle body installed, and everything looks just like stock. So inside, the internals are a little bit bigger. So that'll give us a little bit more throttle response and a little bit more horsepower. Motor is a little cold, so it still needs time to, for the idle to come down. But I could tell right away the throttle response just quicker immediately just by tapping the throttle. I like how the throttle response is really quick. And that's what's really fun about having a bigger throttle by a little bit more airflow going in. This all work out really well when we decide to put a Honda Atta Flash Pro on this car and tune everything, but we probably want to put on a few more mods before we do so. So let's see, we're at about 1000 RPMs, we're still not even all the way at temperature. Everything's looking just like factory, how I like it. So now I'm going to go test drive my new throttle body and see how the throttle response is. The best part about this right now is the idle is perfectly at about 900, 1000 RPMs. Everything feels just like the way the factory the throttle body used to respond uh, as far as the day to day driving. But I can feel right away the throttle body is kind of letting in a lot more air so then the response is a little bit better. People a lot, a lot of times ask me if they upgrade the throttle body on the newer 2006-2009 uh, model SC1000s if they need a Flash Pro, Honda out of Flash Pro and tune it right away. Generally you do want to have a Flash Pro and tune so that way you, get, you can maximize the the horsepower out of the, your modifications, but you don't always. Well, for example, this throttle body, um, it, it's changing the airflow that's coming in, but you also have a wideband oxygen sensor so it can make compensations for that airflow. The older model S2000s don't have a wideband oxygen sensor, so every time you change something, it mechanically you're mechanically just forcing airflow through, and so then it makes it, uh, so the ECU doesn't know to compensate with fuel or anything like that. Let's see if I can get 
get some clear road here to kind of open up the car. Right now the RPMs are, you know, basically just sticking right here at 900. That's the, that's the part I like the most because it doesn't feel like there's any throttle lag or the throttle plate doesn't close fast enough. We, we make the, uh, an adapter plate for the Acura's MDX and ZDX throttle body, which is a really big throttle body. And that one's about 80 millimeters in the opening and then it tapers down to 70 millimeters. And that one, we always have to tell our customers to tune it right away with the Pondata Flash Pro because of the fact that it does kind of have that throttle lag when you install it right away if it's not tuned and then uh, like the you give it throttle and then you know when you let off throttle it's still kind of like you can feel the car still moving a little bit before the throttle lets off that's not the case with this one uh, with this one this car this throttle body was made specifically to mimic the exact same functions as the stock throttle body just have a bigger opening which is uh, stock inlet is about 68 millimeters uh, and then this CCW inlet is uh, 70 millimeters and then the uh, behind the butterfly the butterfly itself the throttle plate is like uh, is actually enlarged by a few millimeters as well I think the stock one's about 65 millimeters and then this one is at uh, 69 millimeter throttle plate and then the outlet into the intake manifold is also 69 millimeters which is what Honda had uh, had basically on the 2006-2009 model S2000s, they already they increased the bore size of the intake manifold to 69 millimeters. The 2000 to 2005 models have a smaller intake manifold. Those are only 64 millimeters. And then so for the older model year cars, um, we'll take the older model intake manifolds and bore them out so that way they can match the newer models. But on the newer models, you could just leave it the way it is, unless you want to go bigger than that, like a bigger throttle body that uh, I think Grams makes one for, uh, that's a 72 millimeter uh, drive-by-wire throttle body. And then you can bore out your intake manifold to 72 millimeter on the newer model year uh, cars. But then again, when uh, you go with those bigger throttle bodies like that, same thing like the Acura MDX and ZDX throttle body, uh, the V6 throttle body basically, that one, it gets, gives you throttle lag, you know, and that's the one part that's kind of not so convenient. This throttle body is much nicer because of the fact that you can just install it and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to tune or do anything right off right away. You can just drive it the way you like it and if you ever, if you decide to ever go with the flash front tune, you'll see, you'll be able to make a little bit more horsepower gain already uh, just because you're tying in all the, all the, um, the parts that you put on the car. Like for example, in this car, the, the k and intake and then the CCW throttle body. So this is, uh, you know, this is a, a nice brand throttle body that is uh, that they made this specifically for the S2000 and then uh, it's something we sell on our website at uh, BladeSports.com. Um, so, but in reality, I don't want people to feel like this is, you know, uh, necessarily, you know, um, a video that's just promoting a product that we sell. It's just a video showing the results of the, of the product. So, so right now I got a nice open stretch. front of me while I was gunning it just a minute for first and second gear but the throttle response is much quicker that's what I like about this this modification it's an easy modification that anybody can do on their uh, 06 plus s2000 they you know especially guys that just want to kind of keep things stock but uh, get a little bit of power out of it the best part about this thing is the fact that I, you know, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but in my opinion, this is a small compliant product. And then one time I had a visit from the, um, the Bureau of Automotive Repair, and they saw what we've been doing with uh, our own Belate Sports throttle body and stuff like that. And they assured me that they told me that this, that, that increasing the, the, the bore size on the throttle body actually does not, have, does not hurt the small, uh, uh, small compliance at all. You know, here in California, we're pretty. We probably have the strictest smog compliance laws, and so if when, the, when a guy from the Bureau of Automotive Repair tells me that a bigger bore throttle body and a bigger intake manifold is what it was regarding an older model year, he told me that was perfectly fine, and he said it was really more so on the exhaust side, like header, uh, camshafts, and like, uh, and you know, catalytic converters, the biggest one, you know, and exhausts. That, that's really what they look out for mostly. 
back here, coming back to the shop right now. So I want to thank everybody for watching the video and then let me know if you have any questions. You can always uh, email us at info at belatesports.com and then check out our website, www.belatesports.com. Thanks again.